Hey everyone. So I actually have a couple of matches here. So there's this one uh, pretty much full match. Uh, I didn't like get the I didn't get the recording of the whole match because you know I only decided to save it after the second one. And then like the other one was was you know a match where like the uh, the other guy just you know ended up leaving basically. So yeah, I have uh, both matches to show here. And uh, so for this first match, the guy actually uh, does pretty well. You know, uh, I'll I'll pretty much just let you see what happens and stuff. And so uh, while it's happening, uh, as you probably know, I took you know about like a one a one or two week break. I don't know. I don't remember you know which it was. But um, I don't know if any of you remember when I predicted that. Uh, Oh, well, when I was saying that, you know, also just something that, uh, that, uh, people, uh, consider cheese, but, like, people are, are mainly using it because it's new. I don't know, like, if you guys remember that. And, uh, sort of, like, what I predicted because of that is seeming to come true now. Uh, where, like, people are just using it less and less. Like, uh, since I returned, I think I've seen it once, maybe? And, uh, you know, that could just be luck, but even then, uh, if it hasn't already happened, I'm still predicting that it will happen. Because, you know, uh, chances are that, like, if it is, you know, going to, going to happen, like, if it ever was going to happen, it would happen pretty gradually, so... You know, this could be both a factor of luck and, you know, the fact that it is being used less. Uh, so, yeah, I think, you know, we're finally, you know, seeing that we're like, you know, uh, people, you know, know how to deal with it enough so that, you know, um, people who aren't particularly good with it uh, can't really do that well with it. And so, you know, it's going to be pretty interesting to see, you know, how, you know, that changes anything, like, how it, like, sort of stabilizes uh, in terms of usage, like, because it's still a, uh, a good weapon. I don't, think, I don't think people are going to, like, stop using it and stuff. Like, um, I don't think it's going to be, like, a sort of one that's just, uh, like, pretty much forgotten, like, um, I don't know what a good example of that is. Like, maybe, like, Sonicor. Or like nobody uh, really uses that, you know, despite it like being considered annoying and stuff. It's just not something that people can really use well. So I don't think it's gonna go down to like Sonic or level. But you know, I think it's going to end up very much uh, like a uh, Buzzlock, maybe. Or like Buzzlock is still like used used uh, pretty frequently. Uh, it's still. Uh, pretty highly considered to be cheese by people who don't know how to deal with it. But, you know, anyone who's experienced knows, has, you know, seen enough to know how to deal with it. You know, if, as long as they've made any effort to. I know that a lot of people just don't make the effort to uh, learn these things, but, you know, uh, I think most people uh, do try to see if they can find a way around it. And so, uh, so like buzz lock and bolt sludge being the category of stuff that like people think is really annoying and stuff, but then uh, it's just not that easy to use against anyone who knows what they're doing. Now of course it's going to be easy to use against people who don't know what they're doing, and I mean like relatively so, uh, not just because you know everything is um everything is pretty easy against you know newbies, right? But still, I think uh, it is worth knowing that it would probably be relatively easy to use against uh, such people. I think that's sort of where um, similar is too. Like, uh, like you know, people who are experienced and like as long as it's not uh, doing one of its like visual glitch things, uh, it's very easy to deal with. And of course, like sometimes visuals. Uh, aren't quite right on it, and then uh, that ends up uh, being hard to see, but 
I think in most cases it is uh, just pretty normal visually and you know that makes it easy to deal with and so I think that's where Wolf Sledge is going to uh, end up where like you know uh, people already know how to dodge it. it's just that a lot of people sort of act like it's not it's something that can't be dodged very much like a buzzlock is because like when you get hit with the buzzlock tracer you know like how a lot of you know how easy it is to uh, avoid the rest of the shots unless someone's doing the equinox trick and even then I think I have a video uh, showing how to counter that I'm actually gonna look through my footage after this and I'll upload it if I can find it for sure because that was actually a really fun match like I actually really enjoyed doing that and I even kind of like try to uh, shame the person who used it like it was really enjoyable so yeah I'll definitely upload that if I can find it and yeah that's basically all I have to say about that so uh, back to this match uh, you can see that, you know, this person, you know, I was winning at first, but, you know, they did something. I think it was partially, like, the hydroid switch and, like, you know, maybe I was a little bit off today, but nonetheless, you can see that, you know, that this person is starting to play well and just takes the lead here. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this match. Uh, even when I like switch my loadouts here for like you know the extra speed, uh, I ended up actually not doing as well as I expect. And so this is like sort of where the uh, the title comes to play, Redemption, because you know I don't think I do uh, particularly well in this match, but uh, you'll see the next match I do quite a bit better maybe because like maybe because this match right here was my first match of the day and I don't think I played like uh, the day before this uh, so so yeah maybe I, I just need uh, time to warm up I usually don't really need much if any like the thing is I usually like get progressively worse as I play but you know that's not entirely consistent and stuff so yeah in any case you know uh, I probably wasn't at my best right here and so and so you know I of course finish this match and then you know I see what I can do in the next match Even if I got those two kills on time, I would have lost. Uh, so yeah. Uh, again, pretty fun match. And so next is the match where I pretty much redeem myself. So I don't know, like, I don't know what changed so much about this match. Maybe it's because, like, I was already warmed up or whatever by the end of it. I think I already said that or something like that. 
But anyway. Uh, you know, I, I'm thinking that I'll like probably just like warmed up by the end of the end of that match, you know, pretty much shown by, you know, those last two kills. But, um, uh, you'll be able to see that I did, you know, especially, uh, well here. So, you know, I take the lead, of course, uh, I pretty much just, like, uh, run around looking for energy, waiting for him to pop up. You know, that's, that's sort of like my, uh, strategy with, with, the uh, this build on this map. I sort of just, like, go, like, the, the direction to, like, find the energy. Uh, so I can, of course, use it for later. So yeah, that explains most of my movement patterns, but, you know, there are some things that, like, even, like, looking at the footage, I'm a little confused about, but, you know, probably, you know, goes along the same reasoning, I guess. It's actually a lot of things that confuse me when I look at my own footage, and then, and then, like, uh, I see what happens, I'm like, oh, I probably, like, saw this on the minimap or whatever. Uh, like, uh, the way I think about, like, uh, uh, different moves when I'm, uh, what do you call it? Well, when I'm just watching, it is very different from when I'm actually playing. Even if I try to think of it the same way as when I'm playing, it just doesn't quite work that way. I don't exactly know why. Still just trying to figure that out, but, you know, it's, uh, whatever. Yeah, so I don't know exactly what his uh, plan was at this point, but I know that he was, uh, that, like, once he switched back to Hydroid, he was, uh, spamming melee a lot. Don't know if he knows that, that it puts it on, puts him on the minimap. Yeah, that's something that like a lot of people seem to not be aware of that um melee strikes put them on the mini map. Now, I especially love that kill, like it probably makes me look like a hacker or something. Like if you don't know that like uh melee strikes put you on the mini map, you know, you could uh see that kill and like just wonder how I knew that you were there. Like the only like, other explanation is like super hearing. Well, of course, from my perspective, you can see the heels on the minimap, and I just use that to uh, gauge when he would come over. And then I think at about this point, yeah, I, I noticed that the door was opening, and so he leaves. I successfully redeemed myself. <laughs> 